Hi everyone, welcome to Eyes Closed with Courage My Love! Hey. <laughs> we just did a little, little Beyonce dance. Yes. Uh, and the guys joined in. It was fantastic. You want to say? I think I think now I'm like really feeling this. Okay. Yes. It's amazing. Cool. So you guys had an amazing run in 2017, starting with uh, putting out Synesthesia, yeah. then going on Warp Tour, Warp Tour or Wine at Sea, mm -hmm. um, and last but not least, uh, supporting, they're my favorite band in the whole world, supporting Simple Plan. Yeah! Uh, so it's <laughs> you know, Pats and Home, she's Falls Tour. I have to ask you guys, um, A, how was it like to be to be playing with them every night, and B, like, did you get to like hang out with them? Did you get to know them a little bit? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah! Yo, it was amazing. <laughs> They're uh, Canadian icons, so obviously it was like a dream come true to not just open for them, but be like direct support for them. Very like nerve wracking because they've just been around for so long and they're like kind of a staple in like pop punk music as it is internationally. So it was really cool to watch them do their thing all the time. And they're all really cool guys. Like they yeah. just, they hang out and they're very down to earth and very chill and you know, no egos at all. So. Yeah, it was a great tour. It's awesome. Um, we got to hang out with them at Rewind Sea. Yeah, they were on Warp Rewind too, so that was totally sick. And we got to see them in a whole new light. They were in like vacation mode at that point, so <laughs> that was totally cool. And they have a song called Vacation, and it goes like... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't play that one on this tour though, because they were only playing like the old school. Of course, of yeah, yeah. You know? They yeah. did play Summer Paradise though. Yeah, so. which is basically <laughs> in the spirit, <laughs> in the whole spirit. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> we have to hand the okay. mic back and forth. <laughs> it's all good. Fight for the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Just kidding, absolutely not. Um, so, oh god, oh, we are right. Right. I think okay. you just won. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just won. It's me. I'm stiff on my face. No, I'm joking. Um, okay, so this all, like, this whole, I'm trying to be like serious, but it's pretty funny. You don't have also. to be serious. Okay. Um, so the, this whole album cycle for Synesthesia, um, what were some of the challenges, like either emotionally or even physically, that you kind of encountered during that whole like touring cycle? Um, it was, I guess, a hard album to write just because all three of us were kind of going through some really hard times yeah. at the time when we were writing it. So in the studio, it was hard because we'd be doing vocals and then, you know, our producer would be telling us to think back on something kind of tough and, you know, I don't know, just stuff like that was really hard. Physically? I don't really... Uh... I mean, like, you know, we've been touring a lot this year, so we have, I think the longest gap that we've had in between tours and we've actually been at home was like two weeks or something like that. Yeah. So we've been traveling a lot, but in my mind, that's what we've always wanted anyway. So yeah, you, you do sacrifice, like, your home life and all this sort of stuff, but at the same time, the rewards are just so much, like, it's just our goal, and I I believe, personally, if you're in a band and, and you're not down to, like, tour and travel and, like, go see your fans and put all that work in, then it's just not for you, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, So sure. it's been a really good year that way, and then this album means a lot to all three of us, so mm -hmm. I think it's been really good that way. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> so kind of like like all the heavy emotions and stuff turning into something positive, maybe yeah. also yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well it always gets better, right? Yeah. It's months that you get just I hope. You know, <laughs> it has to. Well, it was fun. <laughs> right? It always gets better, you know, you have to you have to work towards what you want it to be, you know, like life switch make it. You want to be happier if you're a strong believer that you will go out there and try your best to be where you want to be. And if it fails, you just keep trying. Mm -hmm. There's always a rainbow at the end at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like a, a silver lining. Like, I mean, we, we went through some really horrible times. Like, the three of us went through really, like, heart-wrenching breakups and just, uh -huh. like, our lives got turned upside down yeah. and all kind of emotionally like a mess when we wrote this record. But it was sort of like... The culmination of all these emotions ended up being like the perfect storm to write a record and I feel like the songs are so much better and so much more real and honest and and just being able to create something positive out of all these negative things is like a silver lining and hope at the end of the day you know cool.
Some yeah. positive vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep them going, but it also, my next question also comes with um, something a bit sad. So, like Kevin Lyman announced the end of Warp Tour yeah. next year, or Warp Tour as we know it. Yeah. Um, you guys have been, I think, twice? Yeah. And, uh, Warp Dutsy. Warp Rewind. Yeah. For mine. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just making up my own tour titles. <laughs> um, do you have, like, sort of like top three Warp Tour memories that you can share? Oh my uh, god. Man, uh, that's yeah. really freaking hard. <laughs> I guess, I mean, there's so many memories because you meet like so many awesome people and like we've all made so many like lifelong friendships through that tour, but um, it was really cool getting to spend a summer with Sworn In. They're like some of our best friends this past year and man, yeah, just like, it's really cool meeting people that are like, the same sense of humor, you know, like you totally vibe with. So that's probably one of my favorite memories. Yeah, I mean, obviously the friendships are great, and I think um, Warped as a whole was so good for us as a band because it almost like taught us how to tour and how to be on the road and just how to live in that environment. So I think it's a big highlight of our career, and it's something I'm never going to forget because every tour we do, I just think back to like. You know, to those first uh, that first time we did the full summer on Warp Tour, uh, I just think it's a great experience for any band, and it's kind of sad that like all these bands that I just remember looking up to Warp Tour so much as a kid and as a teenager and being like, I'm gonna be there one day, I'm gonna do it, uh -huh. and I know that it's not just me. Like so many young bands do that, and I feel like now that all these like bands that are starting out haven't had the opportunities that we've had on Warped Tour and the chance to experience it aren't going to get that, you know? It's so the end of an era, really. Yeah, it really is, oh. yeah. For me, I just want to attend. Like, I want to attend once again. Yeah. 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 Oh, so it's such a yeah. yeah, you can still, there's still there's one, one more, more year. Summer. Yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. yeah. I think it can happen. One of the best memories I have is the 2014 when we played um, Bad Rabbits. Oh, yeah. We played um, a Warped Tour barbecue. So there's a barbecue after pretty much every show for all the bands. And so we all go and hang out um, as artists and everything. But this one particular night, it was just the vibe of it. We had like all these crazy like Christmas type lights around and uh, Bad Ra Rabbits is a really like funky, like feel good band. And everyone was just like holding each other and singing along to Bad Rabbits. And it was so emotional. Yeah. It was, Probably one of the best times I've had in my life. Yeah. Aww. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank I'll, you, Walt. We love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, amazing. I'm just, I'm just holding my card out like there this. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not professional. <laughs> I'm upside down too. Um, I don't know how much time we have. But I'm gonna try just to cram as many, as many questions. Going. Going. You got can. this. Yeah. Um, so, Brandon, you have a clothing company. Is that correct? I do. Yes. Yeah. Supply. So, what, what's your so what exactly is your role in it? Do you do business development or like actual um, design? Well, I'm one of the creators of Lifeline. It's actually me and my two friends. So um, we all have the same like similar idea we've always kind of wanted to do with clothing. Uh, line never talked about it and once we did we we realized we had the same vision for it and the same idea and how we wanted to make it work or like like take it or whatever so I guess my role is more like a marketing and like uh, we do a lot of like photography and videography as well so mm, cool. we try to incorporate that into our clothes and like with our social media and stuff so we go hard on that doing a lot more photography with it and we're all trying to like just combine as much as we can and awesome. like do whatever we can as the three of us to make our brand something special. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've seen it. I like checked out. Uh, oh, thank you. Your, your, your like Instagram a, stuff. That's really it's like thank you. So, um, speaking of like fashion and stuff, um, you guys have wrapped some pretty epic emo hair. Over <laughs> <years>. Yeah. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you say like hairstyles or like fashion? You guys obviously. Are um, Thank like you. What, what oh do you God. think is it's kind of like more more important to you or more um, fun? I mean, as far as hair goes, I've had some pretty 
whack hair in yeah. my day, so <laughs> clearly it's not that important to me. But uh, yeah, I guess they say clothes make the man, so yeah. Here we are. <laughs> man, I feel like if you have the personality, you can rock any look, like mm-hmm. any look. So I think what I, I don't know, I'm not like a fashion expert or anything, but like I just try and go outside of the box and just, I don't know. I just think, yeah, any you, if you're confident enough, you could pretty much rock any look. So, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> You can't have the clothes without the hair. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a culmination. It's part of the outfit. <laughs> Man, yeah, if I cut my hair, I don't know what I'd do, actually. Really? Yeah, hair. But you, you, you can't, well, you can, like, color it. That's yes. Sure. I, I feel like if I had nice yourself. hair, I could wear, like, probably a rag and, like, the... Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta have the hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can... Not saying that being bald isn't a hairstyle. You can it always is. rock no hair. Yeah, so it's actually in rock. fashion right now. I feel it like is. Like, Definitely. Like, is it really? Definitely fashion. I, maybe not. I don't really follow the truck fashion. <laughs> like for, for girls or, or for guys? yeah, for girls. Well, like Stranger Things, right? Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. yeah that's right. Yeah, she started it. She yeah, started, started it all. Started it. For Brittany me, started. no, Brittany. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually yeah. true. Natalie Portman. Brit, Brit. <laughs> Brit, Brit. Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Good God, I didn't. I did not know this question was going to end there, but, um, <laughs> but it did. Oh, um, iconic. You never know. You never know. <laughs> um, cool. Um, I, I know that you guys are coming back next year to Europe, mm-hmm. which is really cool. And I also know that you've mentioned some new music. What can you reveal for the next year? I mean, you do, no pressure. Like, you just put out an <laughs> album, but like, you, you've been kind of talking about it. So Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this, like I said, this year we've been touring pretty heavily, so we want to keep that going and keep this album cycle going as long as possible. However, we are very focused on writing new stuff and recording new stuff so we can at least have something new for people next year. Mm-hmm. Um, it might not be like a full record or yeah. anything, but I mean, who knows? I don't know. But we'll, yeah. yeah, we don't really know. We've started the writing process. We've kind of started throwing ideas around. We've got some songs that we're kind of stoked on. So hopefully you've got something for next year, even if it's just like some singles or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's in the works. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, this is the last question, and you can choose between an either or kind of round. Um, or, it's not a trick question, or like a surprise task. Either or or surprise task? Which in itself is already an either or, but. Okay. Right. Yeah. So just whatever sounds better. <laughs> I guess. Can we? I'm intrigued. Can, oh, yes. we, can we do like one of each? You can do both if we have time. There's three of us. Time. We can do it. We got this. I say we well, say you've got time. Okay. We're good. Is this kind of like a truth or dare thing where like one of us can choose what we want? So. Like, like right now. Like right now. We love games, so you have to specify the rules. Yeah. <laughs> you have to collectively decide. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Okay. I'm too much. I think like mystery box, right? Like surprise task. Alright, I'm off with the coins. Yeah. Do you have a coin? Right, no. I don't have I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. I have a pound. Have pound. Okay. English pound. Okay, okay. ready? Go. Which one are we doing? Okay, heads. That's heads. I say tails. Tails always wins. But, but like, what is heads it? Heads is task. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> heads are task and this random thing is either way. Okay. Either way, we'll make it. Oh god. Oh. What was that? Tails. Yes. I can't even tell. Task. What was task. that? Tails. Task. 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 Yeah. yeah. What's the task? What do we got? The task is. <clears throat> oh. Tell me your rapper names, oh, but okay. it has but it has to include one of your song titles. What? Oh, Wait. No. Give me a minute. Oh my god. You you can all go. Like. Uh, or you can you okay, can make. Okay. I got up. mine. I got mine. Really. Mine's Lil Animal. That's me. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> That's not the full song. Does it have to be the full song? No, it just has to include part of it. Oh, include part of it. Okay. Uh, Dirt Sadie. Oh. oh. That's She's dirty. That's nice. <laughs> That's actually nice. If you need some Lockwood. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Getting all deep with this. <laughs> okay. He's so no. yeah. <laughs> He's the Kendrick That was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to pimp up, to 
Pimple yeah. lock lid. Two little monsters. What about yours? Oh, 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 there you go. She well, did it. I mean, yeah, that was, that was kind of segueing. <laughs> it was inevitable. No, that would have been real, because we could have a group project. Two-headed, two-headed squad. Squad. Yeah. <laughs> you're okay, you're two-headed anyway, but three must get to be uh, Let's just, let's just not, let's, let's just, just leave it at that. Leave it Bye. At that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing show. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for interviewing us. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.